My guys, I always thought that 100% of the time, the Crow Matrix would be the best out of all of them as a generalist matrix. Uh, <laughs> it turns out I was really freaking wrong. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. Today, we're going to be talking about Tower of Fantasies matrices. These ones over here, I'm going to talk about generalist matrices in terms of DPS. We'll cover healing maybe in another video, but I'm pretty sure the TLDR for that one is Kokorita and Kokorita only. However, again, today I wanted to run through the calculations that I made for the Shido versus the Crow versus the Samir matrices, as well as some of the different conclusions that I came to in terms of all of these. And so my guys, if you are scared that I'm going to be running through a whole bunch of math, don't worry, I'm not going to run through the working out, but I will tell you the methodology in which I calculated each of them and how I came to each of these conclusions. So starting off with the calculations over here, what I did was I plotted from 0 to 100% crit rate, the Crow 0, Crow 1, and all of its star advancements, as well as the Shira and the Samir matrices, and how exactly they're going to affect our final damage. So I have the damage formula over here. This one is kind of incomplete, uh, a little bit implied because of this one over here, the damage reduction. At this point in time, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly the damage reduction works. I know how it works and I have the values, I just need to run a little bit more testing. However, this is generally how damage is calculated in Tower of Fantasy. And so with this in mind, what I did was I essentially mapped out a formula for Crow, Shiro, and Samir and how exactly they would translate into final damage multiplier. And so if I come over here, what this is saying is that at 0% crit rate, the damage percent increase that we get from a Crow 0 would be 100% which is nothing because 100% of one is still one. However, on the other hand, if I have a look at Shiro over here and Samir, you can see that even at zero crit rate, they are bringing a 7.5% increase in damage for the Shiro zero and a 10% increase for the Samir. And so therefore, as you can imagine, as the crit rate increases, Crow's effectiveness is going to increase and increase because he gives crit damage. And if you guys didn't know what each of the matrices do, Crow gives extra crit damage when the target is below 60% HP. Shiro gives extra damage when the target is above 50% HP. And Samir just gives damage and that's it. So what I'll do is I'll quickly run through one of the calculations, for example, Crow over here, and this is one minus A2. So this is essentially if it doesn't crit, plus if it does crit, how much damage would we do multiplied by a weighting? This is 60% uh, of the time. And then if it does crit, but the target is above 60%, then this is how much damage we'll do. Add that all together and we get this multiplier over here. And so that's essentially how I came to this table. It's going to be a little bit different logic for the Shiro and the Samir. Uh, the Samir one is actually pretty straightforward, but this is it. And this is comparing all of the different star advancements against each other. And with that being said, uh, let's have a look at some of the breakpoints for Crow versus Shiro. Because as you can see from conclusion number one, Samir is always better than Crow and Shiro at the same star advancement. Okay, so if we assume that Samir is always better than Crow and Shiro, and we have four matrices spot, then two of them will always be occupied by a Samir. Who between Crow and Shiro are going to occupy the other two? And that is how this table is going to tell us. All I did to come up with this table was have a look at like one of the particular ones. So for example, Crow zero, and then match the percentage gain with the Shiro zero. So this one over here, how I got 71% was I went to Crow zero, and I went to try to match these numbers together as close as possible. And what I found was about 71%. So as you can see, 145.72%, 145.66%. And this is the point at which the Crow and the Shiro performance will be the same. Alternatively, if you want to do like more stringent calculations, more accurate calculations, what you can do is this down here in which you can plot the two lines and you can get the intersect of the two. So that is essentially what I did over here. But if you don't care about the math, then it doesn't matter to you. But essentially that I said 71% for zero, zero, it's actually 70.42, but the difference is like negligible. And so with all of that being said, I want to start talking about the conclusions because why does all of this matter? And that's probably the most interesting part, right? So the first conclusion that can be made is one that we talked about already. Samir is always better than Crow and Shiro at the same start advancement under perfect conditions. And what I mean by that is that if you guys don't know Shiro's matrices, sorry, uh, Samir's matrices, it's that it has a 1.5 second last time which is like it lasts for 1.5 seconds. And what this means is that after 1.5 seconds, all of the stacks actually disappear. You can go ahead and test it if you want. So even if you stack up to 10% for this one over here, attack 10 times, and do remember that multi-targets do count. So you could actually get six stacks within like half a second if you have like a big move or like an AOE move and all of that. The uptime of this set effect is actually really, really low, but it is also really, really easy to stack. And so it's for the reason that it's very easy to stack that I 
I am going to assume that you're going to have 100% uptime. However, as you get higher and higher in star advancement, it's going to get harder and harder to maintain because 20 times for 20%, you're going to hit things 20 times. It's going to take longer than 10 times, right? That's twice as much time. And so if we have a look at the charts, so Samir over here, I'm going to come down to the bottom. You can see 165 versus 164 and 161. And then Samir one over here, 169 is better than these two. And then so and so forth. And so therefore, as you can see at 100% crit rate, we have Samir 3 coming in with plus 1.8 times damage. So that is plus 80% damage, which is actually freaking fantastic. And that is how I came to conclusion number two, which is that Samir 3 site is always the best. Maybe I should call this like conclusions and observations because the next one is a little bit more of an observation, which is 2A. Ramp up is fast. There is no ICD. So what that means is that like you can keep attacking and it will stack up as many times as you attack. There's no like 0.5 seconds in between each attack, but the 100% uptime is tough to maintain. Now moving on to conclusion number three, under perfect conditions, end game best in slot BIS will always be two times Crow plus two times Samir for your main DPS. So if I come down over here, you can see the top two at the same star advancement is always going to be Samir and Crow at 100% crit. Now, 100% crit, is this realistic? I would say yes. However, what's more realistic is probably at 80% crit. So we'll address that in a second. But again, assuming 100% crit rate and perfect conditions, Crow is second best, Samir is best, and then Shiro is still actually extremely good because look at that. The difference between that damage is not very much at zero star. I'm gonna come up to the three stars advancement, 180, 175. That's only a loss of 4.8% damage and then 169. So if I compare that with Samir, that is only a loss of 11% damage if you don't have the Samir three. So if you're just using like Crow and Shiro three, that's actually still really, really freaking good. All right, and so coming to conclusion number four, we have Shiro is better for the majority of early slash mid game. And that is in comparison to crit, because as you can see with all of these breakpoints, it is quite hard to achieve that level of crit to make sure that Crow is better than Shiro. And the thing about the Shiro matrix is that there are a few other components that we did not consider. The first of which is that there is actually a shatter component. So increase both damage and shatter to targets with more than 50% HP by 15% up to 26%. That's honestly really freaking insane because what that means is two things. First of all, the shatter is actually not considered at all in these damage calculations. So it's kind of like an added effect, whereas Crow and Samir do not have any of that. But on top of that, number nine over here, transition Shiro to Shatterer. Shiro is actually a very, very viable matrix for the Shatterer. So if you are finished with the Shiro and you do have your end game with 100% crit and you have like the Crow 3 and the Samir 3 over here, you could actually still use that juiced up Shiro on your King or on your Ruby or whoever your Shatterer might be. Maybe not your Lin because Lin has other best in slot matrices, but especially at this point in the game where our meta is still developing. So with team comps looking like this, you can definitely have that Shiro over here on your King, or you could definitely have that Shiro over here on your Meryl instead. And so that's gonna take me to point number five, which is that none of them are bad picks. The maximum DPS difference is 10%. Now, what really matters to me was this observation over here where the ramp up is fast for Samir's matrix, but it's actually really tough to maintain. And so it's kind of like, well, look at this, look at this. At Samir zero and Crow zero and Shiro zero, you are only losing 0.6% damage if you use a Crow over a Samir. And what that means is like, well, are you willing to trade off the easier downtime or the easier uptime with the Crow and the Shiro in exchange for what could be maybe like a 4% DPS loss? I think it's worth it, especially because the 100% uptime on the Samir is simply not like realistic. And extending this observation up to the Crow 3-star, Shiro 3-star, Samir 3-star, we can see we would be trading off about 4.8% uh, of the total damage by using the Crow instead of Samir, and we'd be trading off about 10.5% for the Shiro Matrix instead, which I think is honestly still kind of worth it considering the uptime assumption is, I don't know, man, it's a little bit shaky. And so yeah, if there is a point that I wanted to drive home from this video, it's that none of them are bad picks. All of them are good picks. Everything else outside of these three matrices are less than good picks. So as long as you have some combination of these three, you're gonna be doing good DPS. And so that's gonna bring me to number six over here, which is that star advancements matter the most for Samir and then Crow and then Shiro. So what that means is that if you compare the incremental gain of uh, this one over here, so we can see Crow zero and then Crow one and then Crow two, 
and then like the Samir 0, Samir 1, Samir 2, etc. You can see that the Samir 2 to Samir 3, you actually get a 6% damage increase. Honestly, it doesn't, it, it doesn't sound like that much, right? <laughs> but if you compare that to the Crow 3 to the Crow 2, that's actually only like a maybe a 4.6 or 3.6% damage gain. And then it's even less for the Shiro 2 to the Shiro 3, where it's like a 2% maybe, something like that, right? Like a 2.7%. And so if you do have the opportunity to star up any of your matrices, then again, your priority is your Samir comes first and then your Crow and then your Shiro assuming you are going to be using the Samir and you're going to be dealing with the uptime. For those of you who have been watching for a while, you do know that I do use the Tsubasa trait because I can't be stuffed messing with the Samir trait in which when you get hit, you lose some attack. I don't know, man. I just personally value uptime a little bit more, especially as a more casual player. And then the last point that I want to touch on is this one over here. Realistic end game crit rate is about 80% and 100% if you're lucky. So typically speaking on the CN server, to get 100% crit rate, which is possible actually, so like to hit these numbers down here, you would need approximately 16k crit. Now, most people are probably going to hover between the 80% and the 100% crit. And so what you're going to notice is that, let's have a look at 80%. The difference between each of these matrices at 80% is about like at most 4%. However, looking from here up to here, like if it's 80% crit up to 100% crit, the increase in damage is actually only 13%. And the reason why these incremental gains are so little is because we have very little choices and very little options in boosting our crit damage. If we only had more sources of crit damage, so as you can see, 1.5 because plus 50% extra crit damage, plus the crow component, this could be so much better if we could get more crit. Crit damage, that is, in Luxembourgish. <laughs> What the frick? <laughs> and so yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that you should evaluate this based on the amount of crit rate you have, which is, you know, it's an obvious one. But for example, if you are at 80% and you have each of these matrices, then you can tell which one is the best for you, right? Especially depending on the star level. However, if you want to plan ahead, then do go with like the Samir top priority and then Crow and then Shiro. But at this point, I think it's quite clear that there is not overly much difference in the incremental gain, no matter which way you go, vertically or horizontally. And honestly, with that, that is going to actually wrap up this video. My guys, let me know which combination of DPS matrix you guys are using. Are you guys using the Samir Crow? Are you guys using the Samir Shiro or the Crow Shiro? And it's funny because um, I personally still don't have uh, two Samirs, so... I personally also used to believe before these calculations that Crow was the best matrix out of all of them with no questions asked. Turns out I was a little bit wrong. However, my guys, that question is for you, not for me. And so I would love to hear the combination that you guys are using down in the comments below. On the other hand, if you did enjoy this video or kind of found it helpful, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. However, as your, as your boy Shiro, no, no, Shiro's a girl. No, as your boy Crow once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.